and this glass of milk and a cup of coffee. Mmm. Something I love, love, love to have on a weekend or an occasion for breakfast and a cup of coffee, especially like now it's heading into the fall so our mornings are a little bit cooler, sit on the porch with a Danish. And my favorite is cheese Danish. We're getting ready to make an amazing cheese Danish. It's quick, it's easy, and there's only a few ingredients. I think like three or four, something like that. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll need to do is make a, uh, or get a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper and then set that aside. We are also going to be using puff pastry. And if you have puff pastry, you know it's frozen. So what you need to do is take it out of the freezer the night before, put it in the refrigerator so that it will be thawed the next morning. Uh, this puff pastry is what makes it super quick and easy. I have some cream cheese here, some vanilla extract, a lemon, an egg, and a little sugar. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Putting our cream cheese in here. All right, our cream cheese is already softened, but to make sure it has no lumps or anything in it, before we add any other ingredients, we're going to cream the cream cheese. just for a second or two because we want to make sure that our cream cheese has no lumps. Now we're adding in some sugar and of course I will have all the ingredients in the description and I'm adding in a little pure vanilla extract. Go ahead and blend that together. And even when I'm baking, when I can, I like to taste as I go. Okay, that is tasting good. Now, we're going to take the juice from half of a lemon. But before we squeeze our juice, I'm gonna take it and I am just going to get me a little zest so that I can make sure I have the flavor I want. Now it doesn't take a lot of zest, just a little bit. Now to make sure I don't have any seeds, I'm gonna squeeze it through this strainer. Okay, now that we have our lemon juice in here, we want to cream it again with everything. This is our filling. Again, I'm gonna scrape down the sides. All right, now we can set our filling aside and work on our pastry. Okay, before we start on our actual pastry. We want to make our egg wash so that that will be ready. And I like to just take an egg. You can use it plain. You can add water. I like to add just a drop of heavy cream 
to my beaten egg. I just think it provides the right color that I like. And just beat that up and set it aside. Okay, take your puff pastry out and lay it on a flat surface. I'm going to actually take this one sheet and make four, so I'm gonna cut it down the middle this way. And I'm gonna cut it down the middle the other way. You can actually make this in any shape you want, any size you want, minis, however you'd like to do it. Okay, now we have four pieces. We want to take each piece and fold in the corners, just like that. Kind of press it down a little bit, just a little bit. And we're gonna put a little egg wash on this, just like this, so that these corners will stay down. Press your corners down. The egg wash is just helping it to stay pressed down. <clears throat> and once you have it just like that, go ahead and sit it on your baking tray and do the rest. Now we have them on our baking sheet. We're going to put a dollop of our filling in the middle. You wanna make sure that you have enough room around them so that they can puff up and cook. Just put it right in the middle. on each one. Try to get an even amount so nobody feels like, oh, you got more cheese than me. <laughs> and if you are one of those people that don't like a lot of cheese in your cheese danish, you do not have to put this much in there, okay? Now, we're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven, which I should have said earlier, make sure your oven is preheated. I actually started preheating mine when I first began. So preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about, oh, 18, maybe 20 minutes. Everyone's oven is different. So if you look in there and it's not golden brown and they're not puffed up quite yet, keep cooking them. Okay, we'll be back. Wait, we can't go yet. <laughs> I almost forgot. We need to put an egg wash all the way around them. I almost forgot. And it's okay if a little bit gets on your parchment paper. But go around them and put egg wash all the way around. I knew that was too easy. I was like, what am I forgetting?
Okay, now we're going to bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 minutes. Okay, wait. <laughs> Maybe I should have did this after my coffee this morning. We need to sprinkle a little sugar on the tops of each one. Ooh. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, I think this is it for real this time. And I think we can go ahead and bake. Bellavision. Oh, look. Don't these look amazing? And they're so easy to make. And they are so delicious. Look at that, y'all. Look at the golden brown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. It is time for us to do our taste test. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Help me get to a million subscribers. I am almost there. Share the video out with anyone you know. That'll help me as well. Returning subscribers, thank you so much for keep coming back over and over again to spend time with me in my kitchen. And for my channel members, oh my goodness, I cannot thank you all enough. Ooh, and speaking of channel members, if you are not joined to Pam's private pantry, we are going to be having some fun, all right? You're missing out on some behind the scenes videos and everything else, so come on over and join us. Okay, without further ado, let me give this a taste. This looks delicious, it smells amazing. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing, ooh nice and crumbly and crispy look at me up here trying to cut it like a pie oh my goodness Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. oh my goodness mm. Mm. look at what y'all see up close i just cut that little piece i don't know if you can see the inside it's not really an inside but just how flaky it is how flaky the crust is oh my goodness mm -mm -mm. Ooh, all i need is glass of milk and a cup of coffee. Mmm. 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 It's flaky. It's tender. Mmm. Yet it's crispy. Oh my goodness. And the lemon that I put in there provides just the right amount of tartness. It's not overly sweet. It's just amazingly delicious. Okay, I'm going to grab that cup of coffee and I'm going to finish this up. Ooh, I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mmm, bye-bye. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.